A convicted killer in one of California's most gruesome murders will stay behind bars after all. The family of an elderly Davis couple murdered in their sleep, now breathing a sigh of relief. CBS 13's Marley Ginter talked with them after yet another grueling court process. Marley? Well, it certainly was, Tony and Elizabeth. Grueling to say the least. They've spent the last several weeks on pins and needles waiting for this day. This isn't the first time the person who brutally murdered their loved ones has tried to get out of prison early. <laughs> a long-awaited shout for joy for Sarah Rice. For eight years, such moments have been few and far between. In 2013, then 15-year-old Daniel Marsh murdered and mutilated Sarah's grandparents, 76-year-old Claudia Maupin and her husband, 87-year-old Chip Northrup. I have to leave him with God and walk away for my own sanity and the health of my family. I have to walk away because what he's done is such a grievous, uh, so grievous to me. A judge sentenced Marsh to 52 years to life in prison, but with Senate Bill 1391, Marsh could have been released as early as next May. The 2019 law bars 14 and 15 year olds accused of violent crimes from being tried as adults. But to have some sneaky bills in right at the last minute and really put everything in jeopardy, um, yeah, it's a slap in the face. What if there was a chance he was rehabilitated? Uh, I mean, there would be a lot of convincing to do. He's had his second chance. He was given a fitness hearing, which I support. What I don't support is the blanket law because I think each case needs to be judged according to its specifics. SB 1391, not enough to set Marsh free. They're calling the appellate court ruling a victory, not just for them, but for the community. The community that my mom and Chip love so much can rest easy tonight, uh, knowing that he won't be back anytime soon to their community. And really, Marley, he would have been free to go anywhere in the world. Now, Marsh isn't the only convicted murderer who relied on SB 1391 for an early release. That's why Sarah and Victoria say they will continue fighting that law for community safety. For some background, SB 1391 came in when the state legislature amended Prop 57 as part of juvenile justice reform.